You have to get out there in order to be seen by the one for you. You know, don't expect him or her to come knocking at your door when you least expect it. Although, quite surprisingly, you might turn around at a party and there he is or there she is. That's when you make your move. Here are some tips on how to get out there. Because for some, it's not easy. Since so many of us are locked into our phones, our computers, our houses, <laughs> our work, social media, etc. Number one, we've got to go to events that your friends are attending or other people are attending that you might meet who have a similar interest in you. There's comfort when surrounded by people who have the same interests as you. Number two, volunteer your time. Get involved with a cause that you care about and meet other people who share your passion. Number three, be open to conversations. Maybe you'll run into that cute guy or gal from your neighborhood who you've been wanting to meet. Don't wait to say hello, you know? Be open to conversations. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's new and exciting today? What's going on? Number four, what's your passion, interest, or hobby? Find a group of people getting together through meetup.com or other groups of that similar interest. Maybe find a new topic that piques your curiosity. Something that you've, wow, I've always wanted to know about X topic. I'm going to go to that meeting. I do not know what I'm in for, but I'm going to meet some people and, hey, I'm going to practice socializing. Go there and meet new people. Number five, when your friends, whom you trust, want to set you up with a great person that they think is great, go. If you keep turning down their proposals, even though maybe the last three or five were not so good, They'll quit trying to help you out. No, 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 no. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah, uh, number seven wasn't that great, but let's try number eight this time. Number six, become a regular at coffee shops, bookstores, restaurants, places that you go to, galleries, museums, you know, something. You're going to meet other people who are regulars there as well. And it's that common interest, those commonalities and stories and conversations that you could have. Hey, I've seen you here a lot. What piques your interest with this restaurant or this hangout or wherever you're at, you know? And a typical conversation for me is usually made up of questions, questions, questions. And I know 20 questions is crazy, but the point is, is just keep the questions rolling. So what interests you with being here? Did you see somebody or something here that was really kind of cool? Oh yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Number seven, sign up for a class in something fun, like fill in the blank, photography, underwater basket weaving, you know, whatever, drawing. Just do it and be surprised by the people you meet. And we're not consciously or actively like, I, I hope the one is going to be here. No, 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 no. It's about you getting out there and putting out that energy. And it's that energy that you put out just naturally, just being you is going to attract people to you. And usually with a little bit of respect, like, oh, I May I talk to you? you? You seem like you give off all this energy. You seem very vibrant. And I just wanted to introduce myself and get to know you. And number eight, step out of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself to do something new and different. Above all, get out. You'll never be found if you can't be seen. And here's a little quote for you. Sometimes finding the one for you isn't something you set out to do. Because very often, when you least expect it, he or she will literally walk right into your life as if it were magic and meant to be. That's pretty cool. There may be other times when you might think that you should be actively searching for that special someone. Finding the one for you can seem to be complicated. In fact, the more we get to know someone, the more our opinions change, and usually for the better, you know? I remember going to networking meetings and, oh, I never want to talk to that person. And that person usually winds up being the one I want to talk to. You can't judge a book by its cover. You got to open up the cover. You got to look inside. You got to flip through the pages of someone's life and get to know them. It's just how we're wired. You know, the first step in the process is to know what qualities you are looking for in someone. And I suggest that you make a list of pros and cons so you can have a general idea of the kind of person and relationship that lights your fire. If you are looking for uniqueness and compatibility, for example, write those down. Your findings can be very revealing about the kind of match you desire. For all of our unique qualities, we are often attracted to a certain kind of person, and it's not true that only opposites attract. 
More studies tell us that many people are drawn to those with like qualities, similarities, things in common. By the same token, make a list of the qualities that you can offer someone. You know, you, <laughs> we've all seen these lists. I want this person to have this and this and this and this and this, and they better have this, they better do that, they better not do this. What about your list? What do you bring to the table? Ask yourself what's great about you. You know, not that people are attracted to people who are comfortable in their own skins versus people who send the mixed signals that they are uncomfortable with their own body. I know that was a mouthful. But the truth is, be yourself. But when you go out there, go out there with the idea that you're not looking for someone to meet your needs per se. No, you're going out there to meet someone else's needs. You're going out there with your talents in who you are and what you do and what you bring to the table. And it's those things that are lighting sparks and flames and stars and fires that attract people. I did not know you were so good at this making sushi. Well, I was trying to dabble with it at home and I got pretty good at it, but I wanted to learn more. So I wanted to take this course on how to make sushi. Well, yeah, but you're really good at it though. Wow, you could be the teacher. <laughs> well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, wh what are you making there? Well, I'm making, and then you strike a conversation. You know, you show off some of these great things that you're good at. You know, it's all good. You have to get out there in order to be seen by the one for you.